News 8. Welcome back. This is Bill Konar. He was my grandfather's brother. Bill moved to Rochester after surviving the Holocaust. He succeeded here and he gave back here. The Bill and Sheila Konar Foundation is one of the most charitable in the area right now. Bill's son Howard has picked up where Bill left off, a businessman and a philanthropist. But I wanted to interview Howard about a side project of his that's really anything but. Common Ground, a project of growing scope that promotes civil and productive political discourse. Common Ground, from what I've read, does propose solutions to some bigger problems. And I wouldn't necessarily, when you look at the broad scope of it, call it middle ground. There's a word that's come up like technocratic, where it's practical in nature. Would you say that it borders on that type of analysis? I think pragmatic is a good word. Technocratic is a little... <laughs> a, little a little sinister. Yeah. Uh, but uh, pragmatic is good. I think the what 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 I see, and I see this, you know, anecdotally from people I know, but I also see it in the public opinion polls, is that people, average people, are not nearly as polarized as our leaders are. And I think that's the pragmatic point. If you can show over and over again that there's large majorities of people, not just Republican or Democrat, but Republicans and Democrats, who agree on a lot of steps that could be taken tomorrow, then why aren't we doing that? You look at D.C., you look at Albany, and while ideas and talking can get somewhere, a lot of it is power brokering. How have you or are you trying to use Common Ground to influence actual decisions? One of the activities that we're most deeply involved with right now is a citizen panel idea. The idea is that in each district, each congr congressional district across the country, um, a representative like Joe Morelli uh, um, would say to his constituents, we'll, we'll select a random sample of people, we'll poll you on issues like immigration, health care, debt reduction, foreign policy, gun safety, um, you know, right down the line, and I will take your views into consideration when, uh, you know, when I make those decisions. Not to say that the representative would not exercise any judgment on their own, of course they would, but but they would really take it into consideration and agree to meet periodically with people who are part of that citizen panel and discuss the results of the polls face to face. So the Conan Foundation, I found its name isn't as big as some of the other foundations in the area, yet from what I understand, its work is rather expansive. Yes, that is true. And that is pretty much in keeping with my mom and dad's wishes, uh, and I think our whole family's wish. Um, name recognition isn't the point, um, results are the point. And uh, as the saying goes, it's amazing what you can do as a team when nobody takes the credit. Is there an overarching mission that guides the foundation, would you say? We, we have objectives, you know, we have focus areas. Uh, one is pre-K through 12 education. Uh, another is um, supporting Jewish life. Another is offering uh, better access to health care. And finally, uh, we do a lot of work in the area of promoting tolerance through education programs and other programs that um, just try to limit the spread of hate and promote the spread of understanding. And now you know what my hair will look like if I keep it. <laughs> That citizen panel, by the way, is set together in November. Common Ground provides a lot of literature on a variety of issues, and we'll have a link to it in just a few minutes on rochesterfirst.com. Next.